The purpose of this video is to show you how quality control checkpoints work in version 14 of Odoo. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is go to the quality application. In the quality application, you will see, of course, any quality alerts that you have to work on. Uh, you can have different quality teams, right? We may have a, uh, a technical uh, quality team. And of course, right, they would then have their own pipeline of, uh, of specific alerts that they need to look into. Uh, as of right now, there are no work, uh, alerts that we need to work on, but we will, uh, we'll go through the process. Under quality control, you can see here under control points, we have uh, a rule that's been created for the main quality team, right? Uh, this is what a control point looks like in the configuration. I can say, okay, what's the title? The product that I wanna initiate this on, I can select another product if I'd like here. The operation that I'd like to uh, issue this on. I think in your requirement list, we have specified uh, connected to manufacturing and inventory. So we can specify the quality checkpoint and uh, have it occur at the manufacturing level, when you receive stock, when you transfer stock, when you deliver stock, uh, when you drop ship, whatever it might be, you can initiate quality control checkpoints. Uh, from an operation standpoint. Here, I could go as deep as indicating I want to check at a specific uh, work order. I won't do that quite yet. Under here, I can indicate uh, what type of controls do I want to initiate. Do I or, excuse me, the frequency uh, at which I want this point to occur, this checkpoint. On all operations, I could have it at randomly based on a percentage of the operations, or I could have it periodically at every X number of days, weeks, or months. So I will do it on all operations in this case. Uh, and then the type, I could have a set of instructions that need to be completed. I could have a, a control check where I, in, I require a picture. I could have just a general pass fail, or I could have a measure which indicates that a, a specific tolerance has to be accounted for. And uh, I need to measure and I could have that there be a specific tolerance. And as long as the measurement falls within the tolerance, uh, the check would be passed. But for this, we'll just keep it simple with a pass fail. Here's the team that's responsible. There you can see my technical team that I just created a moment ago. We'll leave it main quality. And I could even indicate an individual and make them responsible if I'd like, or I could just make the team responsible as a whole by leaving the individual field blank. Here, I can fill out the instructions uh, in order to complete this quality checkpoint. I could also embed content into the specific uh, set of instructions as well. Uh, content including right, documents, uh, pictograms, uh, URLs, if you want to do like a video and instructions, things like that. So me uh, instructions, measure a uh, message of failure, and then just general note section. So let's go through and see how this works. Remember, we're going to start in manufacturing. So I go to manufacturing. I'll create a new manufacturing order. Here I can indicate the product which I want to manufacture. Automatically pulls the bill of materials. As you can see on the bill of materials, I have listed out the specific components required and their quantities in order to produce this one unit of the finished good. I can also see a series of operations that need to occur in order to produce this. And I had quality checks specified here uh, in an earlier demo I was doing, but it's not necessary to review it now. It's not necessary to have that there now because it's not going to matter. But what is going to happen is when I, fin when I produce this finished good, it will, send, uh, it will send this good through these two stages where it will... Uh, essentially where it will be produced. They're called work orders that will occur. So let's go ahead and save this. And you'll see once I confirm, before I confirm, let's go to the overview. You'll see that there's nothing to do in either of these two stages. When I go into that MO I created and click confirm, you can see, and then I plan, it automatically pushes out my work orders. Now, if I look here in the overview, I see that there's one to launch. When I click on to launch, it here's what I need to want, launch. It's a work order. This work order has a set of instructions, and I can also up here create my serial number for this finished good that I'm working on. I just created a brand new one. I could also, from here, block this work center. I could issue scrap from this location. I could get other raw materials and bring them in and consume them from this location. For example, if I have to scrap something, then I need to get another one from stock and account for that in my inventory. I can do so shows the tight integration between manufacturing and inventory. And lastly, the quality alert. If something were to go long, I could issue a quality alert here, which would notify the right quality team that something needs to be done in order to relieve this particular workstation uh, from whatever it is that they're struggling with from a quality perspective. Uh, I'm not gonna do any of these right now. 
I will proceed and uh, let's pretend that the instructions have been completed and I can mark the work order as done. It also just tracked my time in real time. The moment that I mark that as done, you'll see it shows me my OOE planned orders, but it also automatically creates, uh, there's a dependency, right, that says, okay, it's time for operation number two to begin what they do. And they can, of course, go in and start to work on what they have. There are no instructions in this example because I didn't create them. Uh, work, I can see number three is automatically carried over. Same concept, I can do any of those items as I described before. I could also pause this just like the other one if I need to use the restroom or something like that or go on lunch. Um, but once I'm done, I could have two choices. I could mark this as done or mark as done and close MO. If I try to mark as done and close MO, Odoo, of course, will allow me to do so. But it brings me back to the MO to close it. When I try to mark as done, it tells me I can't. It stops me because it tells me I need to do a quality check. And it's at this point here where it forces me to run my QC. Please go through the check. This is mandatory, just like uh, I specified in the instructions. And of course, I can then pass this and indicate that it's passed and finally then mark it as done. And here you'll see a traceability report, which looks downstream at the two raw materials that were consumed in this operation under that uh, particular serial number. I can see the product moves, right? I moved these two products from stock to production where they were consumed. Then I moved this from production to stock, the finished good with serial number three. I see a cost analysis breakdown, which looks at the cost of the raw materials plus the cost of my labor per hour to give me a general cost uh, of this particular unit. And lastly, I can see the quality checks here that were associated with this manufacturing order and everything timestamped. So a full audit trail of who initiated the quality check, who marked it as passed at what day and time. Uh, that way I have both traceability into what happened as well as an element of accountability, right? Users don't want to approve things that they didn't check thoroughly because their name will be associated with it. So you can ensure that the work they do will be credible. Uh, otherwise, right, people will wonder why, why this person is marking things uh, as passed or as failed when that's not the case. And of course, you know, you can issue disciplinary warnings and things like that to help straighten out uh, whatever inconsistencies might be prevalent. Okay. So that, in a nutshell, is the basics of quality and manufacturing. Everything, of course, is integrated. So you will see here in the quality checks, quality check number three, the one we just did at 426 is, uh, is listed there. Now, so that's how it works at the inventory level. If you want to also have it working at the, uh, excuse me, at the manufacturing level, if you want to have it at the inventory level, then you issue a control point. Maybe we want to issue a control point for the product X uh, in the operations every time we receive it and I want to do on all operations, and I want to do a measurement, and I, the norm is one tolerance 0.75 to 1.25. Now that's created. So every time that I go ahead and let's say I initiate a quick purchase order for product X, I save it, confirm, generates the receipt, and if I go into inventory, here on the receipt, I open it up, I will see that there's quality checks immediately. If I try to validate it beforehand and apply, it tells me you cannot, it asks me, excuse me, to push forward and do my quality check to click validate. I will put a quality check of 1.10, which is within the tolerance, and it will tell me that I'm okay and I can proceed with receiving that product. But it does not let me escape the quality check. If I also wanna initiate a quality alert from here, I certainly could, I could say, okay, issue with product, right? I could specify the lot number or serial number. If there's a work center it occurred at, which picking did it occur on? It automatically pulls picking to. The quality of team that I want to alert, I could have a root cause and um, description. Please check the machinery and save this, of course, and proceed with my, my tasks of receiving products, while the quality alert team would automatically be notified, as you can see here, in their pipeline, there's a new uh, alert for product X, they could drill into it and begin to uh, take ownership of this. So that is how, and then obviously market is solved when it's done and it'll be uh, removed from the pipeline. So that's in a nutshell how quality works. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. Thanks.